Hello traders! In this video I will focus on the crypto market because although uh, I don't think we've reached the bottom uh, for this bearish trend in the long term, at this moment a strong uh, relief rally could be next. We will discuss uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Ripple, Cardano, Polkadot and Doge. Bitcoin. As I said in the beginning, there is no question about it. In the long term, the trend is bearish. However, a local bottom uh, could be in place and the 30-40% uh, rise could be next. So uh, let's go into more details. As we can see, after June's low, Bitcoin reversed around uh, 40% and after uh, uh, this uh, 25k high started to trade in a range uh, with a bearish uh, pressure. We see uh, these uh, lower highs. And uh, now we have the first interesting uh, thing. At the beginning of no November, the price broke under support and after this, one would have expected a deep dive. This didn't happen. Instead, Bitcoin uh, has started to consolidate again in an even uh, tighter range. This for me is an indication for a reversal. Zooming in uh, to a 4-hour chart, we can see a double bottom uh, into forming and also that the price evolution is pretty constructive uh, this year after uh, this uh, 30 December's low. So, a break above uh, 17k uh, would confirm this pattern and give scope to uh, 18k resistance. Now, going back to daily, assuming that we broke up uh, above uh, 17k and we are uh, at 18k, one thing is clear for me. After a failed continuation, uh, following the break of support, an asset don't come back to test the resistance uh, twice. It is in fact a bear trap and there is a very high chance of breaking back above uh, 18k. And with this level cleared, the false break is confirmed and more often than not, the false breaks are followed by strong moves in the other direction. And I think this will uh, be the case also for Bitcoin. As for targets, 21k uh, high is an obvious one, but as I said, false breaks are followed by strong moves. So 25k zone is not out of the question uh, in this first semester. In conclusion, I'm bullish, but a drop again uh, under uh, 16k would put uh, this bullish scenario on a pause. In Ethereum's case, we see more bullishness. <clears throat> the first indication for this is uh, the no November's low for Ethereum, which is in fact is a higher low if we are referring to June's low, when in Bitcoin's case uh, is a new low. Also, uh, 30 December's low is a higher low, in fact, uh, not like in Bitcoin's case a double bottom. Last but not least, Ethereum is above uh, 24, uh, 25 uh, uh, December's high. So, in my opinion, Ethereum is more bullish uh, than Bitcoin and also here we have more to earn. The first target could be uh, 1650 at uh, this high, but if we go there, uh, 2k seems uh, very reasonable, so uh, around 65% uh, 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 rise. Litecoin, here I said uh, in the past that I'm very bullish. As we can see, the coin uh, broke above uh, consolidation, made a new high at uh, 85, 
corrected by the book to confirm uh, 65 as uh, support and up again. Now, to maintain its strongly bullish trend, Litecoin uh, needs to stay above uh, 70 and we can expect a rise to this zone 95 or even 100. Ripple. Here we can see that after uh, an initial rise uh, above 0 0.5 the coin dropped again to 0.3 support and we have this huge pin bar in this support. For XRP, if my bullish scenario is correct, the coin could rise back uh, to 0.5 and uh, considering a stop loss under 0.3, we can achieve a 1 to 4 risk to reward ratio or Put it like this, Ripple could rise 50% for now on. Cardano, this coin was very, very bearish. And we can see that uh, constantly made uh, new lows. However, if I'm correct and the rally will be next, also Cardano will rise. Technically speaking, uh, the, price, uh, the price has broken above the falling wedges resistance so we can expect a rise above uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.4 in this resistance uh, and also here we have uh, falling wedges target. Polkadot, for DOT we also have a falling wedge which is broken. Uh, the target for this coin uh, is around uh, 7.5 USD. So around 70% rise from here. Also, we need to pay attention to this support, which is now resistant in this liquidity zone above 6 USD. We will finish with the dodge. Here we have this break under support, which can be very well a false one if I'm correct with my overall uh, bullish scenario. My target for this coin is around uh, 0 0.1 uh, in this zone uh, with uh, the beginning of uh, December's high. In conclusion, although I expect new lows in the long term, at this moment speculative, speculatively we can buy and uh, as I discuss, 50% uh, rise or even more in some cases uh, is not out of the question. That's it for uh, my uh, crypto analysis. Have a nice day. Bye bye.